Good. I'm going to try to uh, maybe go in and cut out that earlier bit later. But yes, hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Um, like I said in the video, uh, last... <laughs> Last week, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Video Tuesday, I want to start trying some other things. So, uh, yeah, we're going to draw today because if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I love to draw. Drawing is very fun to me. I love to draw cartoon characters and stuff like characters that I make. So, um, what should I draw? <laughs> what should I draw, everybody? For some reason, my brain is thinking dragon. I want to like try drawing a cartoon dragon and make something up. What do y'all think? Should I draw a dragon or should I draw something else? What do y'all think? What What do y'all think? Yeah, I know. That's the only problem about talking on live stream is that there's that 30 second delay and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, slow down. I can't read everything. Um, yes, I, okay, people, I see some people saying dragon. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to roll with that because that, that sounds like fun. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't really draw on um, Photoshop very often. So for those of y'all who are like hardcore uh, Photoshop people, y'all are probably going to look at me like I'm absolutely like horrendous with this because I normally draw on my iPad using Procreate. Um, let's see if somebody has given me any specific kind of dragon. Like I'm going to do my own, but like any sort of like specific emotion of a dragon is he scared is he oh make the dragon a knight oh that's fun okay i shouldn't have started drawing already because now i'm gonna do that I, f I forgot who said that i should have said that but now we're yeah we're gonna draw the dragon as a knight i like that idea a lot i like that idea a lot so you know like get his body more or less figured out that's kind of where he's gonna go yeah kind of like his tail Go out this way. Yeah, so what's going on, everybody? I'm going to do my best to, like, actually hold the conversation as I'm drawing. Uh, so, yeah, that's <laughs> that's going to be a lot of fun. I think he's going to be a proud, a proud knight. So he's going to kind of have his head held up high as he is a knight and everything. So I'm going to have, like, you know, give him a little shield and everything else. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very, very fun. I'm going to try to give him a long neck. And, like, he'll have his shield over in this hand. And then have his sword raised to the heavens in this hand. So, yeah, we're just kind of roughly blocking everything out right now. Oh, be quiet. Uh, be quiet, PC. <laughs> Uh, so what's going on? Happy New Year! Yes, someone said happy, happy New Year. Yes. Happy, happy New Year. Let's all work together to make it not 2020. I totally agree with that. So let's see. I'm gonna, like, give him a, kind of, figure out where his foot's gonna go. So, kind of, like, have it turned out a little bit to where it's, like, facing camera so it'll be like you know kind of like a t-rex foot so we'll have like three general claws and like so it's kind of his foot's kind of turning as he's looking oh and i got an idea so his other foot is going to be like on a rock because he's like all heroic and stuff he's going to go fight whatever a dragon would have to fight as a knight so i guess he's fighting uh, a human? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I guess that's what a dragon would fight. So he'll be raising his sword to the heavens. Da -da 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 okay. I'm such a nerd. Okay. I feel like it might be easier 
like if I draw the outline of this of the shield and then you won't be able to see the other hand just because it's behind the shield that'll be cool yeah yeah I like that I like that a lot do an impression while drawing <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do a few here and there but I primarily want to draw today but we'll do a couple we'll do a couple so I'm trying to think of what you know no. I'm not happy with that just like that so he'll still kind of have a long neck but I want to make it like just a little shorter because then I feel like I'm squishing his face into the top of uh, the screen and I don't like that so we're gonna do this and like this is where the base of his head's gonna go uh -huh. mm, kind of have his nose turned up he's got this proud pose so he's gonna do that and like da -da -da -da. Uh, which drawing programs do you use this one is from uh, Photoshop I normally don't use Photoshop. I normally like Procreate. Uh, Procreate is so much fun to use on iPad, and that's normally what I use. If y'all have seen my other videos where I like make my own characters and then uh, try to come up with voices for them, that's that's typically what I'm using. But for live streams, I figure this might be a little easier just because I can hook it straight up into my computer, and then uh, yeah, make that a little easier. I don't remember like how knight armor looks but that'll be his nose so have like this intense expression just like i'm off to fight evil and i'm off to oh no that eye looks awful let's get rid of you uh do you have disney plus brand of course i do of course i do why would I not have Disney Plus? It is awesome. I would not be able to watch The Mandalorian and my other shows that way. I debated about getting it at first, not because I don't like Disney, because that would be the biggest lie this internet's ever heard. <laughs> but um, no, it was more like um, the main reason I was thinking about, re main reason a lot of people I knew wanted to get it was because they're like, oh, all these movies that are in the vault, I can finally watch. And I'm like, well, I've bought them all as they've come out of the vault and i have a physical collection of them all so i don't oh i didn't mean to press that tool so i don't really need uh all of them on there but you know they ended up getting a lot of original stuff and i kind of like not having to get all of them out on physical disc so he puts a nice little cool thing on the end of his tail um you should do a blu-ray collection video oh good not a lot that take forever <laughs> I have too many Blu-rays. I have like over two or three hundred or something. I don't remember how many. Um, I have a lot. I have a lot. I have too many. All right. Um, I know you like Disney, but are you into anime too? No, I have actually um, not watched much anime whatsoever. The only thing that I have gotten into anime-wise has been uh, Pokemon. And even then, only certain parts of it. That's like the only bit that I have. All right. Um, I need to look at knight armor because I have no idea off the top of my head what it looks like. Knight armor. Just like general knight armor. I'm going to nix the helmet just because that'd be really hard to do on a dragon. So we're going to like... We're going to do aspects of armor. It's like if this dude just found some dude's armor like around and it just happened to fit a dragon and uh, he'd just wear that. So there will be bits and pieces. Uh, so I'm thinking like a nice... No. I'm a nice chest piece like that. And then like his stomach kind of sticks out because... You know, he's a dragon. He's not really going to fit in it very well. So, kind of like that. 
I'll put another like shoulder. I'm gonna call them shoulder pads because I don't know really what they're called, because I'm 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 real well versed in my knight knighthood stuff as you can clearly tell. Um, so yeah, he'll have uh, whatever these things are called, they're called like braces around the around there or something. And he's like wearing the knight pants, and then that'll basically be it because he's not gonna really wear a helmet or anything like that. Oh, cool. Is there any anime on Disney Plus? If there is, I have never seen it. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. Oh, this is this is tripping out my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to get over here. Okay. Thoughts on the Mandalorian season finale? Dadgum, I loved it. I felt really dumb, like, the whole time I was watching it near the end. Because that big reveal, I will not reveal it here because, obviously, no spoilers. Um, but... The whole time I'm sitting there going, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? And then whenever they revealed that, I'm like, I probably should have guessed that. But I didn't. So, like, all the way up until you actually see the character's face. And every I saw reactions of people, and they're like, oh, it's this person. Oh, it's this person. And I was just like, yeah, I really should have figured that out. Uh, where is Sandy? Sandy is actually not here, so I'm actually no longer, my studio is no longer in my house, at least at this moment. Um, like I said in the video, I had to move and stuff, and the place that we moved into for the moment, I cannot, um, there's no space for me to actually work in the house, so I had to get space outside of the house. So Sandy is at home with my roommates and their dog. So um, she is home. She gets to be in her bed. She gets to eat her food. She gets to have fun. And then, yeah, I'll see her whenever I go home tonight. So, yeah, she is not here. She is at home. So. And it's kind of cool working outside of the house now, but then it's also kind of a pain. <laughs> because of stuff like that. How is she? She's doing really good. She's doing really good. The move was a little rough on her at first, but she's doing really good now. She's doing really good. Okay. So, yeah, now we got a rough outline, just kind of an idea of what I want to do. And now we'll go in here. And, um... Do I want to do a brush tool? Yeah, do a brush tool. And I'll do a nice black on it. So now I can do some... Nice little outlines on here. I like to keep a pretty simple style with my characters like this. I want to keep him slightly more realistic, but not really. I don't like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Can you draw figment? <laughs> Well, I, I want to be able to draw my own cartoon characters right now. I don't want to draw characters that everyone else has already made. So we're going to make our own because that's fun. Because that's fun. We get to expand our imaginations and try some other things and not just draw what everyone else has done. Not that there's any shame in that. It's awesome. But, you know, after a while it gets kind of old and you're like, oh, I want to do my own thing. I'm going to give him some spikes on his neck. Yeah, he's all like, bam. Let's see. Um, have you ever heard of Wolf Walkers? I have heard of Wolf wa Walkers, but I have not seen it. Um, everyone says it's supposed to be incredible. Um, and it's also from the same studio who did like, uh, what was it, Song of the Sea? Something like that. It was like, I think it's an Irish company or Scottish or something. I have never watched any movies made from that studio, but they all look very intriguing, and I've always wanted to see them, but I've never actually sat down and done it. I don't really have a good excuse other than, like, I didn't know where I could find them, and now I do know, so I should definitely go watch them at some point, because I've heard they're all fantastic, and they're, like, Oscar-nominated and everything, and I definitely want to check them out. They do seem really cool. Who are you drawing? I'm making up a dragon who is also a knight. <laughs> um, 
what drawing tablet do you use? This is a, I want to say this name right, because apparently a lot of people say it wrong. Wacom? Either Wacom or Wacom. I think it's Wacom, the Wacom tablet. And uh, it's a Cintiq, I think the 16 inch. It was like a model that came out not too long ago. I saw um, one of my friends promoting it and uh, uh, like they sent him a version and I was like, oh dude, is it really good? And he's like, yeah, it's actually really good. If you want to get a new one, you totally should. And I did because I, uh, it was actually my friend who actually gave me his old Cintiq because he didn't need it anymore. He got a bigger one and uh, he's, and it was like, it was really good, but he was using it back in like the nineties. <laughs> Or like close to it so it was very uh very old and like all the plugs were outdated so i had to get adapters for like everything and it was getting kind of old um so yeah um i don't know what uh, what the crest is gonna be you know knights have got kind of like a crest thingy on their shields i don't know went to a dragon seems appropriate right um yeah, I don't like that one right there. Let's see. Ah, hang on. They're moving quite a bit. Okay. All right. Do you play Minecraft? I have actually never played Minecraft a day in my life, so I have no idea, like, what it's all about and everything. Like, I'd seen people play it. Actually, no, I haven't. I, I've seen people, like, play around in it, sort of-ish. Um, sorry, I'm like looking at armor to figure out like how to do these pants because there's like, I don't know. I think it would be funnier if he didn't have the pants. He just had like the top part. Now let's do that. And it's easier to do. So you won't have the pants anymore. He's going to have new pants. Oh no. It's okay. He's a dragon. Dragons don't need pants. They need shorts. But he'll still have, like, whatever these, like, leg brace thingies are. I'll keep those just because it helps with the aesthetic. So he'll have very little armor on. But, you know, I feel like that would fit. Like, you know, he wants to pretend to be a knight. So he's going to pretend to go gallivanting around. So he just looks around and, like, he's defeated a knight, like, a long time ago and just, like, took his armor and he's, like, basically playing around with it so yeah i like that idea that's that that'll be fun that'll be fun so yeah we'll do that and then yeah we'll get that there don't ask me how this actually works with the configuration of a dragon leg because it's very different than a person one but eh whatever yeah everyone's like i didn't know you drew it's like yep yep uh I do. I've had videos on YouTube where I've uh, come up with my own characters and then came up with voices for them. Uh, yeah, he needs bigger claws. Yeah, that feels right. There we go. Boom. That okay. Those legs feel. Those legs feel right. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, did someone say? Do I plan on? ever playing Minecraft. I've considered like doing it for the channel. I really have. Especially because um now that Steve is in Smash, I do enjoy me some Smash Bros. And uh I'd kinda like to know what Minecraft is all about before I start playing as him. Cause I feel like I'll just kinda be lost going in. Because having characters that I know in the game um, let's see if I can kind of do a little... Ooh, I like that better. Add a little... Wah, at the end of his tail. That's fun. If I could um, understand him a little bit better, I feel like I would enjoy the characters a little bit more because there's a bunch of characters in there. I have no idea what they're from. I have no idea what they're from. Okay, if I'm holding a sword up like that. Okay, so it'd be like that. So then... Yeah, that feels right. Okay, cool. I sometimes really struggle with hands. <laughs> I mainly draw animals, so, yeah, drawing hands is hard. I'm used to, like, oh, let's be real here. I mainly draw elephants because I really like elephants. 
and they don't have hands. So that's helpful. <laughs> You raise your soul to the sky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, Smash Bros. Um, I always feel like I enjoy the character more when I know who they are, what they're from, and all that stuff. Which is why I was so thrilled to have like Banjo-Kazooie put into Smash Bros. Because that's that's my favorite game of all time. And so it was great to be able to, like, oh, I know that move. I remember that move from the game. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. This is great. This is, uh, this is like my childhood fantasies come true. Ah! You know, all that good stuff. So I would prefer to play a little Minecraft before I play him in Smash. Uh, just because I want to know what he's all about. I want to know, like, what he does. What's his thing? What's Steve's thing? And... Uh, the zombies and whatever other characters are in there. I don't know all their names. I'm going to be honest. I really don't. Yes, I know how to use the brush tool. Thank you. Thank you, Photoshop. I get it. What console is Steve on? Um, he's on Minecraft. And I think Minecraft is almost on everything now. I know Switch has him. I know PC has him. I think Xbox. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know where all he is. All I know is he's on Switch, and I think he's on PC. I'm sure he'll have more. Yeah. So, let's get back into the dragon. Let's add some details. That's fun. Okay. And... Um, boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I just like these little lines. I normally don't use these, but I think it's really working for this dragon. It just adds a little bit of texture, and I like it. Uh, create a voice for the dragon. I probably will after I'm done, but <laughs> I kind of like to get a little further. And I realize his shield looks kind of wonky. I don't like the shield. I like the basic shape of it, but I feel like it could be cleaner. It looks just kind of like, yeah, thrown in there. Which is a problem. I have a problem with that with props and stuff. Um, dragons are awesome. Yes. Um, hang on. Let me slow down. Chat for a second. Ah. See, this is this is what throws me off. Okay, here we go. Have you ever heard of Miraculous Ladybug? Unfortunately, yes. My uh, my, my niece is obsessed with it. So anytime I'm with my niece, it's like on all the time. Uh, have I played Pokemon Go? Yep. I've even had Pokemon Go videos on the channel, but that was a while back. Um, haven't done it in a while. Uh, let's see. This is weird seeing you do this kind of stuff, and I love it. Good. Good. I'm glad. Because, um, like I said in the video on Tuesday, I really want to start branching out and doing more things than like just impressions and just Disney because, well, to be quite honest, I was getting sick of it. <laughs> I was getting sick of it and I wanted to do other things. I thought it would be fun. Not to say that I'll never do impressions again or anything like that or I'll never do Disney again because that's, no, it'll definitely happen, but it's like... As long as I can have a break from it every so often and do something else, I will be very, very grateful. Yeah, we'll put some more spikes all the way down. Don't like that. Hang on. Yeah. 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 Cool. I like it. I like He likes it. He likes it. Let's see, uh, I love Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong Country, though. Oh, yeah, they're awesome. Let's see. Have I ever played uh, Crash Bandicoot? I have, but um, I have never finished any of them. <laughs> I bought the Insane Trilogy, and I played through, uh, I think, a couple levels of each, and I bought the fourth uh, Crash Bandicoot game, but I haven't even attempted to play it, it's just kind of been sitting on my shelf. Just because I'm like, I feel like I should at least finish the first crash before I go to four. 
might be a fun video series. Y'all can see me. I mean, because it's, it's basically Dark Souls that's family friendly. <laughs> it's so stinking hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now we're going to kind of do like a little stylized dragon here. Yeah. I'm going to do like one of these really swirly ones. You know, like they all have that kind of style. He's like breathing fire. Okay. I think I don't want to do that. It looks pretty cool so far, but it's kind of like Inception, you know, you got like a dragon on a dragon. <laughs> it freaks my brain out. Yeah, and they're always like, They've always got like their claws like on the outside of wherever they're standing. I know it's not like perfect, so like people who actually study like you know what stuff looked like in the Middle Ages and stuff are gonna be like that looks nothing like it. But it's just a fun dragon. It's not supposed to be historically accurate. Because it's a dragon. When is a dragon ever historically accurate? <laughs> um, have you played The Last of Us? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's very, I enjoy it very, very much. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to take out the rough layer. So now I can kind of get an idea of what it looks like without my rough drawing on it. Not bad, not bad. I want to add some more here to kind of show where his belly is. I'll give him like those little, I don't really know what they are. I guess they're like underbelly wrinkles. Like I see them on dragons all the time. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna give him a few up here. That's a little confusing though, and he's got his little, uh, well, I guess it really doesn't make sense from a physics standpoint anyway. So let's take that out. Oh yeah, it would actually make more sense to do this, because this is actually where the bend in the neck is. To be like a bum, a bum. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, so much better. I love it. He's got some. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dragon knight. Da, 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 da. Give him a claw there. Actually, I don't even think he needs the thingies around his feet. I think it'd be funnier if he just had the chest piece and uh, the shield and the sword. And like that's all that would fit on him as he's playing knight now. I'm not coming up for a whole backstory for him. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. You know, let's just, let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. We ain't got to do any of the craziness. We ain't got to do that. Put a few more detail lines. I don't know. I just really like them. I think they, I think they kind of help make them a little more detailed. Um, let's see. Ah. Let's see. Uh, it's <laughs> the chat is going so fast. What's his name? I don't know. You guys, you guys get to come up with a name. That's the fun thing about a live stream is I don't know. I'm not really that good at naming things. So you guys can come up with a name. And we're gonna make a new layer, and we'll just make it layer two, just because I don't want to type out a name right now. It's gonna be the color layer. Um, I'm gonna make this dragon orange because I like orange. It's kind of like a darker, a darker orange. Let's see. 
Did you, uh, let's see. Just Mr. Dragon. <laughs> yeah, let's see what people are trying to name him. Uh, go, go. Oh, wait, wrong way. Okay. Let's see. Oh, someone said fire steel. Not bad. Not bad. Trogdor. So I actually had no idea about Trogdor until yesterday. My roommates actually taught me about Trogdor. I'd never um, had that. I never heard that before. Let's see. I like it. Sir Frederick. This is Sir Frederick. Sir Frederick will protect the kingdom from... Um, not dragons, because he is one. Uh, he protects the village from, uh, problems, uh, from tax evasion. <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my brain. But yes, he protects the village from tax evasion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not painting like that. That's going to take forever. All right. Um... Let me make it bigger. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah. I like that for you. I like that for you. And then, yeah, I'm thinking that his underbelly could be like a dingy yellow. Just kind of help separate it. And then I'll put some nice shading on it. And I think it's going to look pretty dang cute once I'm done. If y'all are noticing, I'm kind of... I used these little black lines to my advantage. I was kind of marking out where like his top belly was, like his top body was, and then where his underbelly is, so that later when I'm coloring, I know what I meant for each. So yeah, it's kind of like a brownish orange. I thought that'd be a fun color for him. A fun color for our dragon. Hello from the Netherlands, hello. How are things in the Netherlands? Hello from California. Let's see. Yeah. We're liking that so far. Let's see. Let's see. He protects the dragon village from humans. <gasps> yes, Crafty! Yes! I love it. His chest plate should be silver. Yep, yeah, uh, that was the plan. That was the plan. So, Sir Frederick. Sir Frederick will protect the dragon lands from the humans who are convinced that they are monsters, but in reality, they actually have a much uh, higher IQ and a much more civilized society than all the humans combined, but they refuse to listen. Blah. Don't know why that had to be said with, like, the Merlin, Merlin-esque voice, but it totally was. I mean Merlin, it makes sense. You know, Dark Ages, all of that jazz. I don't know why, but I feel like his, I feel like his spine should be purple, and like his little tail thing. That might not be the best. Uh, maybe I do blue. Making my uh, <laughs> if I did blue, that would be like uh, my channel colors: orange and blue. Absolutely. But are y'all enjoying this so far? Is this something you'd like to see me keep doing? more on the channel because I'm actually having a lot of fun. I think this is fun chatting with y'all, having some fun drawing because I don't I don't draw as much as I used to and I miss it. I miss it greatly and I would like to be able to do it more especially if you guys think it's fun and um, want to do more. I think it would be fun. Oh, I realized I never gave him wings. I was planning on giving him wings, and then I didn't do it. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Lots of yeses. Oh, that makes me excited. Okay, we'll definitely do more. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I just got to sit down and draw in a while. This is great. This is great. You know, it's good to sit down and draw. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hang on, let me see something. Alright. Slow mode. 
Wait, I can put the stream in slow mode? Wait, I don't know if I can do that now. I think it's only whenever... It's. I think it might have to be before I start. Well, maybe. Urgh. Ah! Okay, I can. All right, I enabled slow mode. Let's see what happens there. I don't know how much that did, but we are definitely going to try it. Right now it looks the same, but I don't know if it's like, you know, needs a second to catch up. Oh, it's, I think it slowed down a bit. Oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. Get around his hand there. Wait, let me see something also. I want to see. I want to see something. I want to see something. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I have y'all like on here. I can now see y'all's comments, I think, a little bit better. Maybe. Actually, no. It was easier the other way. <laughs> I made that harder on myself. Okay. Sorry, right in a break. We're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try purple for those. I don't know why, but they feel like a nice purple. A nice purple should be good. Just, yeah, I get to, I love working with dragons and stuff. You just get to do whatever you want. Because they're all so different. Yeah. Yeah, I like purple. I like that purple, uh, purple, orangey, brown combination. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yes, I do. So that's what we're going to stick with. I'm thinking a confident, posh, nasally voice for him. Uh, it could be. He could be like the one dragon in the village that like has always yearned for adventure. But all the other dragons are like, no, because we're like always hunted by the humans. We can't go off on these adventures, you know. We can't do that. That's meant for the humans. So quit your dreaming, uh, Sir Frederick. Well, his name's actually probably Freddy. And then he came up with the name Sir Frederick. Because that's, that's the kind of dragon he is. He's like, you call me Freddy, but I am Sir Frederick. But he needs like a gruffer, maybe a gruffer voice. You call me Freddy. <laughs> He's Gandalf now. You call me Freddy, but I am Sir Frederick, and I shall go to the mines of Moria in order to find my freedom and to get the gold. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. I love it. All right, um, let's get kind of a silvery. I almost started singing Silver Bells. It's like Christmas is over. Get the Christmas songs out of my head. Silver Bells. Turn it baby Christmas Day. No, actually, well, it'll be quite a ways. Whereas at the time you normally sing that, it'd actually be pretty close. And I'm a big, I'm a big fan, bro. Thank you. Oh, I'll create a voice for him at the end. Sir Frederick is a character from a VeggieTales movie? I don't even remember. I've seen all the VeggieTales, I thought. Did I miss one? Or maybe I'm just not remembering it. Was it like the pirates who don't do anything? Was it that one? Oh, hang on. I did not color that well. Let's see, undo brush a little bit. Yeah, we're going to make the brush a little smaller for that one. Yeah, now I think about it, I think Sir Frederick was Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. I could be totally... Fonania! <laughs> I have not heard that meme in quite some time. Oh, that feels good to hear. Fonania! And for Aslan! 
All that good stuff. That's a movie I have not watched in forever. I considered watching it the other day just because I saw like Voyage of the Dawn Treader came on Disney Plus and I was just like, oh shoot, it's been so long since I've watched any Narnia movie. Then also they had, uh, what was it, uh, Prop Culture on Disney Plus where you like, you know, you find, you get to look at props from films and stuff and this one dude had like a whole Narnia room and I was like, dang, that was actually really cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, he's fun. I like this guy. I like this guy. Okay, um, I'm thinking he should have a golden handle sword. Well, actually, let's make it a little more yellow. Well, like, at least have the hilt be gold. And this part can be more of, like... Make the end, make the end like an emerald or something. And then we'll make this part. And that classic light to gray sword. Sheen! Oh! Hmm, that's fun. All right, and I'm thinking the dragon icon on his shield should be like bright red. Ooh, that's like annoying bright red. Hang on. Oh no, not mode. Ooh, no, what did I do? Yeah. Go away. Yeah. Alright. Let's make it more of a burnt red. What's your favorite song? Um I don't know what my favorite song is. I mean I have a lot of songs that I enjoy. Um, I think lately the song that I keep going to has been um, What If from Kane Brown. I really like that song. Uh, most of the music that I listen to is country. So it's mainly country songs that I really would uh, pull out to listen to. But I just love that song. What if I was made for you? You were made for me. What if this is it? What if it's meant to be? What if I ain't one of them fools just playing some game? Yeah, I like that song. Because I, I had that feeling many, many times in my dating life. Where they're all just like, well, I'm like scared. I'm like, well, what if I, what if I'm not playing a game? What if I'm being serious? Um, well, granted, all the girls that I've dated, I'm very glad it hasn't worked out with them because in hindsight, you know, it was always hard when we were dating. And then, like, you know, they'd either break up with me or I'd realize that I didn't want to uh, continue the relationship whatever way. And uh, in hindsight, I looked back and said, yeah, glad that didn't work out. Because there was either something I was kind of blind to or I just learned a lot and grew in my time. I think you should have like a light blue background to make the dragon pop. Actually, no. Hang on. You should do undo, undo. And I should put this on another layer. Layer. Let's make it layer three. It's probably really bad that I'm not naming my layers, but it's really hard for me to get to my keyboard when I have all this set up. So yeah, now I can just do this and it's not going to affect the dragon! <laughs> Layers are fun! Layers are fun! Layers are your friend! Make life easy! Shout out me please! What up Matt H? What goes on? And I wanna do like a dark... Yeah, you know, dark gray on the shield. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm not feeling dark gray. I thought I wanted dark gray so that it would stand out a little bit more from the armor on his chest. But after re-examining the evidence, I have preferred to keep it roughly the same color. 
Great, now I got what if stuck in my head. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking him so far. So Frederick the Burninator. <laughs> uh, dating for me has been a challenge too. Yeah, I hear you, Jason. No, uh, like lately, I haven't even really been putting myself out there. Well, number one, because pandemic, I wouldn't be able to go on a date right now anyway. But even then... You know, I like like you saw in the video last time, I've just been taking time to work on me and like get me ready so that whenever I do meet, you know, the future Mrs. Hull, ooh, that's nasty. That's a nasty yellow. No, no, we ain't doing that right there. No. Uh, yeah, so when I eventually do meet the future Mrs. Hull, you know, I'll be ready. Ew. Why can't, why does this yellow look nasty? Let's do that. Huh. That's better, and it's a subtle change from that orange to like this yellowy. So yeah, I like this one. This one is a lot less nasty. Didn't like the nasty. I like that nasty one. But yeah, no, I like that one a lot better. I feel like I should do something to his face. You know, like I don't think his face matches the rest of the drawing. Like it needs some extra oomph for like some detail or something. Just to kind of like, you know, flush it out a bit. Uh, older, new country. Uh, for the most part, I prefer the older to the new. But there's a few new country songs that I really enjoy. Uh, but then there's some new country songs that I'm like, stop it. No. Uh, like, I'm a huge fan of George Strait. That was something uh, my dad really got me into. I love, like, if you saw the video I did for his... Uh, I think it was Father's Day. It was either Father's Day or his birthday. No, it, it was his birthday. I actually did a George Strait song uh, for him. I just realized <laughs> I picked Charizard colors. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. So he's basically Charizard with purple horns. <laughs> that was a total accident. That was a total accident. Uh, do I like Luke Combs? Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> over here. Oh my goodness, yeah, I think I had this on about 13, 14 when I was doing the outline, yeah, because I want to do some stuff to his um, face, like maybe give him some crow's feet. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that helps. And then um, we're going to add some some of this onto the armor because it doesn't really have any. And it kind of feels a little more out of place because of it. So yeah, totally didn't mean for him to a purple horn Charizard knight. I didn't mean to, but that's basically what I did. He's a, he's a purple horned a purple horned uh, Charizard knight. Yeah, that's basically what I did. So, kudos to Pokemon fans out there. I mean, I'm one too, so I, I feel you. <laughs> that was not my intention. Uh, hey, Brian, much love. Thank you, Amy. Charizard, go! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, let's see. Do you like the band Skillet? Oh, my gosh. I was obsessed with Skillet back in uh, high school and I think some early college too. And I pulled it out the other night and I was like, oh my gosh, I have not listened to Skillet in so long. And it felt it felt good to felt good to hear their music again. I'll say that. Um, let's clean up a little bit. Oh, just a little bit there, a little bit on that claw. I totally didn't mean to do Charizard. Now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gonna do it. Uh, your favorite show is the engineering, the Imagineering story. Yeah, that one was actually really cool. I like the fact that it was done by the same people who did the Pixar story. Yeah, that was a really cool one. I liked it. Yeah, I, I think the lines kind of give it like a storybook look, which just kind of lends itself to this whole, like, uh, you know, dragon finding his way, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna make a new layer. And this one is going to be the shadowing. Woohoo! 
All right, let's get, where is my little tool? Boom. And now we're going to make it a darker. So now we can draw some shadows. I'll keep this one the pretty, um, I'll keep this brush pretty small so I can get into the nooks and crannies for shadowing. So we're going to have it to where like the light source is coming in from this way. So I'll, I'll add the highlights afterwards, but yeah. I always like to start with the shadows first. I don't know why, but like shadows, shadows are easier to me than highlights. And I think that might be primarily just because I didn't learn about highlights till much later. I'm a self-taught artist, so... I didn't get to learn that from teachers and professors and stuff. And when I first found out about it, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Let's see. Um, I haven't been watching your videos recently. I regret that so much. Well, you haven't missed much. I've been gone for quite some time. But I'm back. I took a break. But now I'm back in the saddle. And we're going at it full force. So bam. I've already got Friday's video like done and scheduled and all ready to go. So yes, y'all will get a video on Friday. So I'm excited. It'll be uh, it'll be probably closer along the lines to what you guys watched um, on Tuesday. It'll be a little more sentimental, and then that'll be the last sentimental thing I do for a while, and then I'll go back to like just being silly and ridiculous and fun again. You know, I'll have my moment to be all sentimental and get my emotions out and then it's back to goofiness so it's weird it's like i feel like that video has already gone out even though it hasn't just because um i've already shot it i've already edited it, so i'm like my work with it is basically done y'all just haven't seen it yet i don't like that last bit yeah have i seen soul yes alex and that's actually gonna be a big part of the video um, that comes out Tuesday. There is something that happens in Seoul that I really wanted to talk about. And so that's what the whole video is. I'm, I don't really know how much shadow to put on the face because the light's coming in from this way. So there's obviously going to be a little bit of a face mask. But then how much, how much would like not be in shadow? Would like that much? I think that works a little bit better. I think that works a little better. And then I don't like how it completely closes right there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that a lot more. You get a nice little face ma uh, eye mask, and then that'll be really good. So I'll put a little bit of shadow there because of the nostril popping up like that. And we'll definitely put some shadow under here because of the armor. Yeah. And then we'll put a little bit of shadow there, but probably not a lot. Oh. Are you back to making two videos a week? Um, I haven't quite decided if I want to stick with that, but for this week, yes, you're going to get two videos this week. And then as long as I can keep coming up with ideas, then uh, that is a possibility. I'm going to aim to try to keep doing more, but I'm also doing a lot more on uh, other social medias. So I don't know if I'll stick with two videos a week, but I will uh, promise you that if there's not a YouTube video, there will be something that I have done on another platform. Recently, I have really gotten into TikTok. Like this past week, I think I've made nine TikToks, something like that, and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> I kind of went nuts. Like I made three today or was it just two so yeah if y'all want to follow me on there you're gonna get uh more content all the time and you know you get all of that good stuff i'm gonna try to be doing more on here as well but like you know anything can happen let's see 
<laughs> you have an idea of playing Minecraft. Well, it's because so many people have mentioned it in this stream. That is actually a very high possibility. Like I said, I really have been considering doing that. So, chances are pretty high you might see me do that. Because everybody wants me to play Minecraft. I know it's like the highest grossing game of all time. Um, but I have never played it. I don't know really much about it. So, we shall see. A little bit of shadow there. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow under here because of the armor. Okay. I think, yeah. I think that's it for that. Now let's add some shadow for, boom, for you. Now let's make you a tad darker. So we'll go ahead like that. <clears throat> um, how can anyone find you on TikTok? Well, uh, in the description of every video that I have, including this one, it has my uh, TikTok handle, or you can just go type in Brian Hull on TikTok, and it should be the one with like 200,000 followers right now. Oh, uh, to help you guys find me, there's a video I posted today. Um... You should see a picture of me with Jack Black on there. Because, like, I did a celebrity look-alike thing. And uh, a lot of people say that I look like Jack Black. So I threw him on there. But you have to see who else people said that I look like. Do you gotta watch the rest of the video? His nemesis' his name should be Gruch Zekerbron. Oh, that hurts my name. <laughs> That, hurt, that hurts my brain. <laughs> I can't. I can't even say that one. I can't even say that one. All right. Let's get a nice shadow over here. Uh, have I seen the Animaniacs reboot or the DuckTales reboot? I have seen both. Well, I haven't finished DuckTales. I have seen uh, the first season, the second season... And I think one or two episodes from season three, but I'm waiting till they all go on to Disney Plus before I finish um, the third season. I was trying to work on the armor there to try to make it look like, you know, it had some volume, but I think I did it the wrong way. Hang on. Yeah, it should be popping out the other way. Yeah, that's what it should be doing. That makes more sense. So let's clean that up. So the shadow should come out like this because, yeah, it kind of pops out near where the chest would be. Yeah, that makes more sense. We're creating dimension with the shadows. So, booyah! I'm going to do a lot more shadow on this side. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do like that. Oh yeah, I like it. He needs scars and a face mask. Um, I'm not going to give him a face mask just because I don't want to cover like his whole face. But I kind of like the idea of scars. That's kind of cool. Um, why have you not been verified yet? I don't know. Go ask everybody. Instagram won't verify me. Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. None of them want to verify me. Even though I've had fakers go on there going like, Hey, I'm Brian Ho. But they're totally not. So I'm like, what else do I have to do? And I know it's not like a number of followers thing because I have friends who have far less followers than I do, and they're verified, and I'm very, I'm happy for them. I'm glad that they're that they're verified and everything. And I've even asked them like, what did you do to get verified? And they're like, well, I just reached out and asked. And I'm like, well, I've done that, and they won't do it. They just keep acting like, yeah, no, we don't want to verify you. So I'm like, I don't know what I did. Apparently, I did something to somebody over there. They don't like me. Uh, whoever verifies people, they're just like, let's never verify Brian Hall. I'm like, hmm, all right, whatever. All right, whatever. That's <laughs> not like Kermit. All right, whatever. Yeah, so his these spines will probably be all in shadow. For those of you guys who are actually trained artists watching me, I'm sure you guys are like, what is he doing with the shadowing? I learned everything that I know I'm self-taught. So I just kind of guess a lot of the times. 
And um, I get it to where I like it, so I'm happy. Yeah. So here we could probably have some light coming in. And then the shadow will go to the other side. Yeah, these are kind of hard to see anyway. So I don't think they're going to make a big difference. And then, yeah, I'll do some shadow on this side. Yes, do that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. And then I realized I forgot to do some shadowing on his tail here. So we're going to do that. Yeah, because like his leg would cast a shadow onto his tail right here. There we go. Okay. This is amazing. Thank you, uh, the dog and Disney fan. CH, I think that's for channel. Brian, 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 hi. <laughs> What's up? What's your opinion on DuckTales reboot so far? Well, of what I've seen of it, I really enjoyed it. Um, but I know that it's already uh, not getting renewed for a season three, which, you know, classic three season trap for Disney shows. So I didn't expect it to go longer. Most don't. And sometimes Disney has them that they really want to go for more than three seasons. And the creators are like, yeah, no, we don't have any more story to tell. So, you know. The classic three season trap of Disney shows. So, yeah. It happens. Yeah, that looks good right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now let's work on some highlights. So let's get my color again, but this time we're gonna go brighter. Okay. Can't really go much brighter than that, so I hope that this makes it good. Oh yeah, that'll make a good highlight. That'll make a good highlight. Just helps to add a little dimension to them. And I'm not really great at highlighting, so I hope I don't like seriously mess this up. <laughs> uh, the three season trap card. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm sad for all those Disney shows, but mm, hey, what can you do? It's what the network wants. It's what the network wants. Uh, I'm trying to think of that intro to uh, Pinky and Elmira and the Brain. It's what the network wants. Why bother to complain? I think that's what it was. Y'all y'all ever heard of that show? Pinky and Elmira and the Brain? Yes, this was a real show, by the way. This was not uh, <laughs> This was not something made up. They uh, People actually, the Warner Brothers people actually made a show, Pinky and Elmira and the Brain. I don't know why, but they did. I've seen some clips of it. It's interesting. <laughs> Much better than I thought it was going to be, but still not great. Let's see. How often do you do chill streams like this because I like it? Well, this is really the first one uh, that I've done for this, but it has gone pretty well. So I would definitely like to do this again. So I will most likely do this again. Maybe maybe I can try to do this like once a week or something. Ooh, man, those highlights look really good on the armor. Ooh, I like that. I hope I don't get too excited about that. Because <laughs> then I'll do something crazy. You know, I'm going to put some highlights on the rock too. Actually, I don't know why I just put I just put highlights on the back of the rock. I should know better than that. We never give you. Come on. We never give you like shadowing. Yeah, that's my problem. I focus so much on the character that I often neglect 
the rest of the scenery or the world that he's in. Which can be a problem. Which can be a real problem. Oh, never knew you were this talented. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah, no, I actually wanted to do drawing uh, far longer than I've ever wanted to be a voice impressionist and everything else. Uh, when I, I started drawing when I was like two, and I was like really hardcore into it. It wasn't like a, hey, I kind of like this. This was like a, no, this is what I want to do with my life kind of thing. I don't know if... Yeah, I like that better. Because I was like, that highlight's not really showing up the way I want. So yeah, I... Uh, I decided I wanted to... Well, originally I was like, I'm going to be an animator. And if y'all watched my video on <clears throat> Tuesday, you know how well that turned out. <laughs> you know, I always thought in the back of my head, it's like, you know, if I ever tried to become an animator, I'd probably love it. And then I tried it and I'm like, nope, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like this, but I don't. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm rolling this a lot. I just have more fun drawing for the sake of drawing. Like, it's just fun to me. Like, I remember there was always this episode of Recess. Y'all remember that show? Recess is one of the best shows out there. And there was this episode where, like, I think it was Hank. Hank the Janitor. Was his name Hank? I think it was. Like, Hank the Janitor. And they found out, they kind of had, like, a spoof on... Goodwill Hunting, and they found out that, like, Hank the Janitor is, like, insanely stinking smart. And, uh, everyone, they're trying to get him, like, hired by NASA and all these other places, and he's all like, y'all, no, I don't want to do none of this. And they're like, what? How could you not want to do that? And he's like, well, this is just what I do for fun, and if I did this for a job, what would I do for fun? And they're all like, dude, you nuts. But he's like, no, this is just what I do because I love it. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel with art. I do it because I love it. I don't necessarily want to do it as a job. I just do it because I love it. And it makes my heart happy. So I'm not doing it for a job. I mean, I'm technically doing it for my job now because I'm, like, live streaming it and stuff. But that's different. Like, I just get to draw whatever I want. I don't have anyone telling me what I can and can't do with my drawing. I just do whatever I want with it. Same thing happened to me. I love drawing, but I don't really like animating or doing 3D stuff. Bad thing is now stuck at 3D college. Oh well. Yeah, that's why I did a, I did a call, I did a program that was like you just pay per class, and then once I was done, I just kind of hopped out and nobody said a word. Okay, so now we're gonna do kind of like just a, I'm just gonna do just a solid color. I just kind of mesh on the background and then I kind of feather it. Do you have feather? Hmm. Oh, that does. Uh, hang on. We're going to figure something out. What color should I. I, I want to do like a solid color behind him, but I don't know what color I should do. What. Uh, color. Oh. Gravity Falls only lasted... Uh, Gravity Falls lasted two seasons. What are you talking about? Well, there's a, there's a story behind Gravity Falls. So, um... Uh, Gravity Falls, the only reason it didn't go longer was because the creators specifically designed the story to go two seasons, and then that was it. Disney wanted the show to go longer. But uh, they said no, because they didn't have any more story. And uh, that's why you see so many shows that are very similar to Gravity Falls. Disney wants Gravity Falls, and they want them bad. <laughs> uh, what color should I do as the background? Uh, sky blue, cyan. Everybody's saying blue. Yeah, we'll do a light blue. Do a light blue. Very light blue. So now we can kind of do it. I'm on the right layer, right? So I can just kind of... Yeah, oop. So I'll have to go through and add some white, because I forgot to do that. So now he has blue eyes. So now he just kind of pops a little bit more. 
He's not on a solid white background because I'm not going to draw a whole world. I'm not really good at that. And I don't really want to. And it's kind of like a general blob. If y'all have seen my Instagram, I like to do this a lot. Just, you know, make a solid color and just kind of hint at where the character is. Yeah, but now he's got blue toes. <laughs> I will go back and fix that. I will fix his blue eyes and his blue toes. Let's see. And now we'll do kind of like a beep. We'll go floopity floopity floops. Yeah, I kind of like it doing that kind of shape. And then we'll come around here. And do like a, that kind of a shape. Maybe? Going to floof it out. Floof it out. Floof it out. Yeah, I know, I like it floofing out a bit more over here, so kind of do like a little quonkies. Uh, let's see, love the drawing. Thank you. Blue nails, too. Lovely. <laughs> well, they're not going to stay. Um, let me get my white in here. I always forget to do that till like the very end. Oh, realize I have you on massive. Let's not do that. Yeah, so you have white eye again, white claws to really bring home that you're basically Charizard. <laughs> that was not my intention. But it's kind of what happened. Yeah, do y'all ever do that? I don't know if y'all draw too. But I, I do that a lot. I don't mean to. It ends up being like a, I'm going to sit down and draw a unique character. And then it ends up having so much inspiration from something else sometimes. that I'm like, I literally just drew this character and didn't mean to. Yep. <laughs> Floof it out, Brian. <laughs> yeah, we got to floof it out. Got to floof it out. Makes it. Makes it more appealing, appealing to the eyeballs. All right, um, let's do some. Realize I never put any shadowing or highlights on the claws, so we're gonna do that right now. Actually. That makes me think, probably need to put a little bit more right here. Yeah. So that way it kind of eases into that shadow right there. So it's thin. Now I realize I don't, there's not, I can't do, <laughs> I can't do um, a highlight because there's not a color brighter than what they already are because I just did straight up white. So I'm going to try to do like a off gray. Um, no, that looks weird. Okay, no, it just won't have highlights because I literally can't make it brighter than the color I already did. Okay. That looks better. Yeah! I'm happy with him. He turned out really good, I think. So, I'm going to do a little a signature down here at the bottom because it's mad. <laughs> nice. All right. Huh? We did it. What do we name him? All right. Yeah, I'm going to type it in. We have Sir, Sir Frederick. What was the, What was his title? Sir Frederick the... Sir Frederick the what? Sir Frederick the Valiant, Sir Frederick the Fratulent. I don't know. Wait, he can do impressions and draw? Yep, I can do both. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Hall. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. All hail Sir Frederick! Yes, Sir Frederick! So what is his name? What is his thing? I think we... I thought y'all said something. And I don't remember what it was. What tablet are you using to draw with? A Cintiq... Uh, a Wacom Cintiq. Or Wacom Cintiq. I forgot 
which one it is specifically. Let's see. The Burninator, that's right. Well, I don't know. Let's try to come up with something else. The Fearless, the Valiant. Uh, the Honorable, ooh, the Loyal. He looks gorgeous, thank you. Um, I'm trying to remember. The Charred Lizard. <laughs> Frederick the Uproarious, ooh. That's a nice force wielder. The Stout Hearted. Let's see. The Human Slayer, Fire Breather, uh, Tax Collector. <laughs> I don't know where that came from earlier. The Scaly, um, the Whimsical, the Burner, the Protector, the Determination, uh, the Flammable. <laughs> the flammable! <laughs> Sir Frederick, the Flammable. <gasps> I like it, Sir Frederick, the Flammable. I don't remember how to spell flammable. <laughs> um, hang on. I gotta go back to see how you spelt it. I don't remember. I'm not I'm not great at the spelling. The protector. The flammable. Okay, it is two M's. I like that. Sir Frederick the flammable. Sir Frederick, the flammable! <laughs> and of course, now i got to come up with a voice for it, because that's just fun. Actually, I want to change something before we officially call this done. I want to work with the background a little bit. I'm not sold on that. The, uh, the dragon himself is fine. Sir Frederick is awesome. I have no beef with Sir Frederick himself. I just have a beef with the blue behind him. I feel like I can do something to make it a little less boring. Because it's just kind of, you get the floofiness, and then that's about it. So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go boop, and we're gonna go boop. And we're gonna go, I think it was about there, boop. Mm -hmm. And then we do. Mm. Yeah, so I don't want to cover everything of him. So, like, he'll have some of his body that's going outside of the blue. I think. Okay. I can just kind of see it now. It's just like the title of his theme song would be like, Sir Frederick. He pulls out his sword. The flammable. The flammable what now? And someone comes up with a, there's like another dragon that goes, and he's like, ah! and he like runs off screen. I feel like that'd be funny. Like he seems all tough and thing until that happens. Then he's on a like, burr. I like the dip here, but let's make it. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this background, but you know, since it's very minimalistic, I kind of want it to kind of chill out. I don't like that. <sighs> Is it sad I'm spending like more time on this dad gum background than I am the actual drag? <laughs> okay, I haven't spent nearly that long on the background as I have the dragon. But still, ooh, yeah, I kind of like it. I like his head being out of it. Yeah, so like we'll do that. Just add a little splash of color behind him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. And then we floof, we floof it out. So we get that nice feathering on the outside, so we get that nice texture. Floof it out. Floof it out. Then we floof out the bottom. Ah, much better. I like that. Boom. Okay. Huh. 
I missed part of the sword. What part of the sword did I miss? It's all, it's all colored. It has a, there's some highlights on it that look like it's almost white and not colored, but it totally is. Okay, so, woo! Now we gotta come up with a voice for Sir Frederick the Flammable. So, of course, he would have a British accent. That goes without saying. I believe he needs a deeper voice. But one almost creature-like. I am Sir Frederick, and I am the protector of all dragons. Sir Frederick the Flammable. I am here to protect dragons everywhere from the destruction and the problem of humans who come into our domain and do not leave us alone. Nah. <laughs> I like it. That would be fun. <laughs> I like it. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Does that voice work or no? Because I can definitely come up with something else. Can he be snobbish? <laughs> uh, I guess he kind of is. You know, it's even more, it's like, just stout-hearted, and it's like, we're going to get things done. I think the sword is missing a point. Well, I mean, the sword is going off camera. You know, I can't finish it whenever it goes off the, when it goes off the, the screen. Like, I, it can't go any higher than that. So, yeah, you're not going to see the entire sword, but that's just because, you know, we see more of him. Yes, okay, that's his voice now. Woohoo! Everyone is very excited about that. I am Sir Frederick, and I am here to protect all of Dragonkind. So, yes, I am here to defend the dragons. That's fun. Y'all, this was fun! Thank y'all for coming to hang out. And we drew, we drew Sir Frederick the Flammable. <laughs> he was very fun, and um, I'm happy with how he turned out. Ah, that would be fun. All right, so thank you guys so much for hanging out, and this was awesome. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do this again <laughs> because it was fun. And so, uh, yeah, like next time, maybe I'll like take uh, requests. Well, you guys kind of helped request this. I wanted to do a dragon, but y'all are the ones who are like, make him a knight. So that was really cool. So yeah, next time we'll do like a uh, y'all pick what I draw kind of thing. This would be really cool. So this is something I definitely want to keep going with. So if y'all have fun with this, let's do it again. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Remember, I got a video coming out Friday. So I will see you guys then. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. And we will do this again. Wait, hang on. I guess to get my... <laughs> Gotta get my mouse over here. That's the problem with having two screens whenever you're working on your Cintiq is you don't know where your mouse is. All right. Ending now. Bye.